hello friends in this video i will tell you how to create online customer satisfaction survey or you can say any kind of feedback form for either for your restaurant your student feedback form employer feedback form employee feedback form or anything like that using google forms and why to create it because it is easy to create after creation it is easy to circulate through a link or url then easy to compile all the results will be compiled automatically so the results will be generated automatic and it will be saved permanently for future reference so due to these features online student uh, satisfaction survey or customer satisfaction survey is very convenient to create using google forms now we will learn how to use it for that we will open first of all google chrome and we will search google forms then the first link will appear like this we will click over it and then there are two options either personal forms or business forms business forms are paid but personal forms are free to use so we will create free forms go to google forms and then this screen will appear where we can see the first form is blank and certain kinds of templates are available like contact information rsvp party invite teacher sign up etc so and here we can see already created forms so i will click on blank form to start creating the form before that you should know that i have already logged in to google using gmail account so that's why here my login information is being shown so after clicking on blank form this screen will appear where this is title of the form that is here we'll give the title of the form like customer satisfaction survey and here we can give the description since it's a feedback form that's why there will be a rating from 1 to 5 1 to 10 as per your requirement i'm going to take feedback or rating from 1 to 5 so i will mention over here like this for very poor one were to good three very good four and excellent five you can give these names as per your choice like worst poor worst bad average good outstanding etc as per your choice so these are the numbers for customers or for what kind of audience you want to take survey these are the reference numbers now i will click over here the same customer satisfaction survey name will appear over here now in this section i will type a question suppose i'm going to take customer satisfaction survey of a restaurant so i will write questions accordingly i will write how will you rate food quality so here is a question and here are various options to choose from i will select from here linear scale so it will range from 1 to 5 i can choose from here either from 0 to 10 as well or any number as per your choice but i am going to take 1 to 5 rating i can also give labels over here that is very poor one means very poor and the last label is excellent this is optional you can give or skip it and here are some 
more options if you want this field should be answered then click over here that is required then it will be mandatory for the customer to fill this field to answer this field now I will click on this plus sign that is add more question now I can write more question over here did you like the seating arrangement of restaurant then again here multiple choice is selected but I have to choose the linear scale because rating is from 1 to 5 it will be automatically set to 1 to 5 and I can give here labels I am going to skip labels over here so that you can see the difference from question number 1 and 2 then I am going to add one more question is it easy to reach or you can write is the restaurant easy to approach or reach then again linear scale it is being selected automatically and this I will set it required over here also so I have set three questions in this feedback form now if I want to see the preview that whether I have created form correctly or not see there are various options available this I representing preview I will click over here to see whether the form is correctly created or not it will appear like this customer satisfaction survey and these are the instructions to fill it so asterisk is showing that this field is required you have to fill it for sure and here very poor and excellent these are the labels and in these questions I have, I have not mentioned any labels so these are not shown so I will choose rating and then I can click on submit this is just for seeing the working of the form that whether it is working correctly or not now I will again go to the form in the previous tab and see here you can see responses here the questions that I have set and here you can see responses I will click over here and you can see the results of one response that I have just filled Th for testing purpose see this is a response of first question how will you rate food quality this is the response that is 4 rating is given this is the response to second question and this is the response to third question and if there will be more responses then these charts will be changed or modified accordingly automatically and in the responses field you can see that if you want to collect feedback for more days you can set it on and after certain days if you want to stop taking responses you can put it off like this now it has become red that means it is not accepting any more response so I will set it on right now because we are going to take responses so this is how to create form now how to provide the URL or the link to people for filling out the form for that you will click on send you will click on send and then there are various options to share the link of this form that is send via email here you have to write the email address of the person or persons from which you want to this want to get filled this form so you can write emails over here another option is link mostly this option is used because link is shared can be shared through many social media platforms so you can choose this option and this is the link provided for this Google form see this is a very long URL so you can shorten it or you can make it tiny by clicking over here by clicking this tick mark see this URL has become shortened now copy it 
copy to clipboard and now you can share this URL to anyone. I am going to paste it in the notepad for sharing it further with my uh, friends, colleagues, who, uh, whoever I am going to take feedback, we, we can share from, uh, we can share this link with them, fine. You can share it on WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, anywhere from where you want to take the feedback. And the next option to share this form is this, that is embed HTML. This is HTML code that can be shared in blogs in other forum sites or or of its kind you can also share on directly on Facebook and Twitter by clicking over these icons so uh, since I have used this option of shortened URL I have copied it also so so you can try any of these three options for sharing the link of this feedback form further now I I'm going to close it one more thing I want to tell about this, there are various themes available for this form. See by default this theme has been chosen that is of blue color. You can choose any of these themes of your choice. See the color has been changed. As per your requirement you can change the color and all. And it is being saved automatically over here. All changes saved in the drive. That is. It is linked with your Google Drive and all the forms that you create on Google are automatically saved in Google Drive. That means you can access them later on anytime or you can modify them. You can also make a copy of them. You can create more forms out of them. Many options are available. But in this video, I have told you how to create a feedback form or customer satisfaction survey, academic survey, anything, any kind of survey can be taken through this form using linear scale option. I hope you have understood it.